Hello and welcome everyone to another Northgard video on this channel. Yesterday Shiro uh, released the big Northgard Trials update. So they involved bigger maps, uh, ranking and balanced maps and a lot of other stuff. I always wanted Northgard to have a ranking system so I'm really hyped for this update. So if you want to know what exactly is in this update, uh, you came to the right place here because I'm gonna read over all the points, uh, gonna left my thoughts for the more important ones and yeah, let's not waste any time and just jump right in and here we are on the patch notes i'm not going to read over all of it i'm going to link down below the patch notes if you want to read over all of it i'm just going to read over the most important points here and maybe leave a few own thoughts if i have some about this issue so the first big thing to change is of course the Northgard Trials League and for that issue I'm gonna read over the whole article uh, from this. In Northgard's new multiplayer menu you now have the possibility to choose or to create a ranked type of game. Uh, for the moment only on dedicated servers so you cannot do that on peer to peer. That is a little bit of the bummer of course for the Australian and Asian players because they have of course really big problems and I guess also for the uh, US players it won't be the best thing here so they wrote only for the moment so I guess there is something in the making so let's just wait on uh, if there's maybe something changing in the next time ranked games have always every victory condition enabled uh, that is quite normal I think a lot of other games have that too that you have every victory condition enabled in ranked games so I think that's completely legit here when winning a ranked game you will receive glory points uh, the amount you will get is based on the rank of the other players in the game the higher rank your enemies are ranked the better will be the glory points reward so uh, yeah i think that's quite similar as to other uh, ranking systems of course uh, you got to keep in mind that you're gonna start with zero glory points so you can uh, roughly count together the glory po points the other team has together and you can yeah, slightly say what amount of glory points you will say that I of course don't have really numbers to work with there since I don't have too much experience with it right now but I would think that it's kind of like the elo system so still no real numbers there since I don't know the range of it but I think you have a good idea how the points will be provided so in general I think when the system is based on the elo system it should be a really good system you got to keep in mind that of course at the start when such a system starts in uh, yeah players don't have their ranks there will be a lot of crazy things going on in the starting weeks but when every player is in range of a rank he really deserves uh, the ranking system will get much better and will provide way better matches in my opinion here uh, we added a new player ranking page which allows to see your current rank and the result history of your last 20 games you've played so this is of course a really cool change so you have a little window where you can see your rank this is of course really needed just to that you can check it outside of any games there and having the last 20 games uh, in a history is of course really cool that makes me a little bit hopeful that they at least plan to maybe include replays there or something like that uh, because something like that of course would you let you browse through that even though I don't think it's gonna come in the next time here yeah, I'm really happy with the update we got here I don't want to say something like that you start in the wood league and earning glory points will allow you to reach new leagues uh, the wood league is from 0 to 149 glory points the stone league from 150 to 299 the iron league from 300 to 449 uh, gold league 450 to 599 and rim steel league is everything above 600 glory points and I can't quite say how hard it will actually be to get there but I would assume it's gonna be quite hard uh, yeah the symbols of the different leagues are of course really sick I also think uh, the wood league sign is quite sick I really enjoy them uh, yeah they look really nice and I think will be cool for players to fight for them here every league will have a new aspect for your town uh, for your town halls for both single player and multiplayer games so I can't really think of what that is right now but I think we're all gonna see it then and maybe some of you can just write it down in the comments in case you already reach one of those leagues and yeah 
have knowledge about that. In a ranked game, a disconnected player will be considered as a lever if he's not reconnected before 5 minutes. As a lever, he loses uh, the ongoing game with a glory points penalty, of course. So you will as a winner. So if your enemy just drops out, he will not have the uh, way to just do that to get you out of the win. So uh, just betray you from your glory points there, let's say it like that. And uh, he will lose the glory points, lose the game, and he will not have the possibility to join any multiplayer game rank or not before 15 minutes. And I think this is quite important, so give also a penalty for leaders, so that they, they do it by, uh, yeah, just by fun. So you don't have trolls running around just trying to destroy ranked games. And they will provide other players with uh, more glory points with that the 50 minutes are of course really important so players don't try to cheat their way up the ladder by just leaving matches all the time with second accounts or something like that even though i think it won't really work since this is a elo system and at some point you will need to play against really good players to earn more glory points there so my general conclusion over the ranking system is I think it's really good right now from the outside like I just played like one game in there so I can't really say how it will play out in the next time but just from the outside it looks really good and I think we will have a lot of time with it maybe there maybe there's a little bit of fine tuning going on so Maybe there will, it will be too hard to go into Rimsteel League. Maybe it will be too easy to go into Rimsteel League. There's always like things going on like that. And it's quite hard to say how the ELO will actually split up between the community. Because maybe there will, more be, will be more players actually playing Northgard in multiplayer now. I could really imagine that because it gives you now more of a goal. You can reach something and I think that's really important for a game. So therefore I'm really hyped for this ranking system and I think it's really cool that we have something like this here in Northgard. Jumping to the huge maps and I don't think there will be too much to say about it right they're just way bigger maps cool that we have that you can play FF8 F8 players on it you can play 4v4s in it and you can play 2v2v2s on it. So this is really cool I wouldn't have really thought that I wanted something like that but I gotta actually say that it's really cool and uh, the games on there are really fun I already played one 4v4 and it were just a blast like a little bit bigger than 3v3 and yeah I just enjoyed it maybe even a little bit more it's hard to say but uh, really cool that we have that option now thanks Charo and yeah enjoyed my games there. Now they put a little disclaimer in there that the generation for these maps may take a few moments for beginning of games. A low configuration computers may have some trouble running this type of games especially in endgame. And yeah I can imagine that since there will be so much movement on the map and when there are a lot of units on the map also moving and your uh, computer needs to render all those uh, so your GPU in the end needs to render all those little things that run around uh, you will have quite some problems there so I can can imagine that the huge maps will require a little bit more of a strong system here even though that's a still north guard so it's not gonna be like ultra hard but still something required i guess and there we go to the balanced map generation what is really cool to have with the ladder here just at the same time so for that being a really important issue here uh, i'm gonna read over the whole article again even though i didn't say <laughs> i said i didn't want to do it but i think this is so important that we definitely need to read completely over it uh, as you know, we value a lot of the randomness of the map generation in Northgard. However, it seemed a bit unfair to allow the win and the loss of ranked games to depend on a large part of such a huge random factor. Uh, in this update, you will have the possibility to choose to have balanced map generation. Here are a few rules about this map generation. For the moment, balanced map generation is only available for the following game modes. Dual, 2v2, 3v3 and 2v2v2. Uh, balanced map generation is built by team, not by player. And special tiles and neutral factions are the only tiles that aren't exactly the same in the two sides of the maps. If a team gets a tough wrath, uh, the other team may get a geyser. Some specific clans will get specific positioning in the map. So the raven clan will always have the most access to shores and the bear clan will have the most access to fish tiles. And just this general update is really, really cool. I also played a lot, uh, already played a lot of matches on balanced generation 
generated maps and it really were a lot of fun. You know that your opponent won't have such a head start because of a random start, but only more because of good gameplay and good team play with his teammates. And what more could you want, I guess? <laughs> Even though there were some problems in the testing when somebody took a random clan because that actually screwed up the randomizer a little bit and we had like really crazy tiles. I personally had a Tors Wrath tile with a Valkyr, a bear and a wolf tile. So I don't know if that's still a thing. Maybe it's already patched out, but maybe you gotta watch out for that, that everyone picks a clan when you go for a balanced map generation. So for the other changes, I'm not gonna read too much over the text here, Sharo just says that there are a few balance needed changes there, but they didn't want it to change too much out just right now for uh, the trials update because they want us to apply our strategies that we learned over the last weeks and uh, not need to learn everything new now for the ranked mode coming in. So everyone already gets a rank he actually deserves and then we're going into a new update with a few balance changes. However, they changed the warrior's damage against shield bearers, what I think is really, really cool because that actually gives the game quite a rock, paper, scissors attempt and I really enjoy that. So now shield bearers won't be the only answer to everything anymore, they can now be easily countered and I think this will make the game a lot more interesting because you can now really, when a warrior mass is attacking you can try to micro them out with your axe throwers. If there is a mass of shield bearers coming in you can get a big amount of warriors to just block them off and with a lot of shield, uh, with a lot of axe throwers you can of course just get some shield bearers out and easily block them out and I really enjoy that. They also changed the gold income coming in from the giants to a really lower point and I think this is quite needed because I think the giant trading were super strong before that update and actually it got quite crippled there but I think it were I didn't play the goat game there it was actually rave so I made use of my improved trading routes got 50% more trading and I actually were still on plus three gold income from the Jotunar there so it will be a lot less gold you will get from them I don't know if the goat clan still has enough to really go for that mass trading post tactic but I think in comparison if you had the chance to get the Jotunar close to you and get a lot of sheep it were so much stronger than all of the other tactics that I think it really deserves this nerf right here. Also they changed the trade victory like a little bit. Uh, you can now build a lighthouse even in, if the trade victory isn't enabled. That of course doesn't make sense if I don't read the next <laughs> change over that. Uh, it's the greater trade routes now grant plus one, plus three and plus six happiness depending on the level of your route. So it re makes really more sense now to go for the trading routes because you don't need to set in a brewer there anymore. Even though it could be not enough to make the trade win really valuable again, but it isn't step in the right direction and I really enjoy that. So in So overall it's a really cool update, I really hyped to have that around here and I hope you have just as much fun with that as I will have. As a conclusion Shiro advises you in the end of this text here to hit up the Northguard Discord if you wanna search for players that you wanna play with, this is of course quite cool for the ranked system because if you don't want to play with random players and you want to team up with other people that can play the game on your skill level just set it up and I'm sure that you will find somebody there. So and with that I'm gonna give it out to the outro. So I hope you enjoyed this little video about the update that is already out. So if you want to experience all of the things that I just read over you just need to log into Northgard and it is all live right now and you can just try it out. I wish you a lot of fun doing that, the best of luck in the Northgard League and see you in the next video. If you are not subscribed to this channel you can of course consider doing so and have a great day everyone. So bye bye, ciao! <laughs>